this is our mini project. Uh, we studied algorithms in the criminal justice system. Our first algorithm we studied was the Blue Crush algorithm, and the second algorithm that we studied was Richard Burke's Future Crime algorithm. So we will start with the Blue Crush algorithm. The description of the Blue Crush algorithm is that it's used in cities crime, social housing, and other statistics to determine crime hotspots in a specific area. And Dr. Richard Jankowski uh, said the quote about the algorithm, putting the right people in the right places on the right day at the right time. The impact of this algorithm is uh, in the criminal justice system are used by law enforcement to help them perform their daily job responsibilities. This includes catching criminals, predicting crime, and keeping record on current and potential criminals. Certain combinations of collected stats can be used with these algorithms to give law enforcement the answers and insight they need to do their jobs. For predicting where crime will happen, there's a better chance of catching these criminals and preventing future crimes. So how does it work? Crime data and environmental data are collected over a long period of time that data is fed into the algorithm and the resulting data sets are then overlaid to bring out patterns and other potential links between each set. Um, the effects of Blue Crush are both positive and negative. Positive being Blue Crush will help the police departments find criminals and prevent future crimes. The negatives being if you set the parameters to be too broad, you'll affect innocent civilians, setting it too strict, and you'll miss out on other crimes. An example of Blue Crush in real life is with the Memphis Police Department. In their preliminary use of the algorithm, they made 70 arrests in the first two hours of its use, a number made over a typical weekend, and over the entire three day, it, they made 1,200 arrests. Our second case study was Richard Burke's future crime algorithm. Richard Burke's algorithm was designed to overcome factors such as unconscious bias, the mood of a judge, or other human shortcomings in the criminal justice system. The algorithm generates risk scores to make it easier to rate and monitor the severity of criminals in, in the system. The impact of the algorithm is that using these risk scores, law enforcement can make easier decisions about crime. How it works. Data is collected and compiled to be used in formulas which generate the risk for each person in the system. Uh, person data that's collected, such as arrest, type of crime committed, and demographic information are used to generate these risk scores. This formula determines how serious the crimes committed were and assign a risk factor appropriately. The effects of Richard Burke's algorithm, similar to Blue Crush, can be initially seen as positive followed by negative. The positive side is that the algorithm can provide valuable predictive insight to law enforcement and other people making decisions on criminals. The negative is that the algorithm does not account for things such as behavioral changes in human beings. Also, even though a person's risk factor might be higher, they might not always commit a crime more often than someone with a lower factor. An example of Richard Burke's algorithm is in Pennsylvania, and internal analysis show that between 2011 and 2014, about 15% of people who came up for parole received different decisions because of their risk scores. Those who were released during that period were significantly less likely to be rearrested than those who had been released in the past years. The conclusion was